What's up guys, Vortex right here with the brand new episode of the educational content. So today I'm going to elaborate you about this thing. Yes, the crankshaft. Okay. I will tell you the function. Definitely you know the function. It converts the linear motion of the piston into rotary motion. Okay. So what are the parts of crankshaft? This is basically a single cylinder and I'll show you on this multi cylinder, a three cylinder crankshaft. Okay. So let's begin. Well, remember one thing guys that this crankshaft is just a model, alright? It is not properly machined, it is just for the elaboration, I found it uh, for you guys. But the fact is, you must know that the surface like this crank pin and main journal surfaces are polished and finished, alright? In this case, you can see these are just dull, so they are not machined. But we can assume that everything is just like the real one. So starting with the parts from the front side, this is known as snot. It is a place where uh, a pulley or the harmonic balancer is fitted on the front of the engine. Uh, well, on the other side, you can see this is flange, uh, basically the rear end of crankshaft where the flywheel comes and fit with it. In between, you can see there are four main journals. One, two, three, and four. These four of main journals just help this crankshaft to hold inside the engine block okay, by means of mount and shell bearings or you can say half sleeve bearings. Over here these off center pins are known as crank pins. These are the spot where uh, your connecting rod just gets connected from the big end to this spot. Okay, It has three crank pins or it is a three cylinder engine crankshaft. How? You can just count the crank pins like one, two, and three. Okay. Now you can, if you uh, compare the motion of these crank pin journals, these are basically off center. Okay. These are not exactly in the center. These are off to provide the stroke length to a piston. Okay. You can see all of these three crank pins are off center. However, you can see these main journals are just right in the center. So therefore, these are also polished and by the help of half sleeve bearings, this crankshaft gets hold into the block. Now there's one more thing important regarding, you can see these web shapes. This is known as crankshaft web. As you very well know that uh, connecting rod gets connected to the crank pin here and over the connecting rod there's a piston. So particularly both have a weight, all right? To avoid vibrations, we basically make these overweights on the counter side. How do they work? These basically have the equal, almost equal mass or equal inertia that the connecting rod and pistons are producing. So whenever your connecting rod and piston are moving down, you see these weights are coming on the top. They are moving, now this crank pin is moving up, so weights go down again. They move down, the connecting rod moves down, but the web comes up. These are basically counterbalancing your inertia that is produced by your connecting rod and piston. By counterbalancing inertia, therefore, you don't receive any vibration. Mostly the crankshafts are made from high speed steel, high carbon steel, or in high performance engines or automobiles, you will find the crankshaft made out of titanium alloy. All right. So, Right, adding on one more thing. You will find the drills in all of these journals, okay? In these four main journals as well as these three crank pin journals. Why those holes are drilled inside? If you see the geometry of the drilled holes, it's like starting from here to here, then goes here. After it follows that crank pin, comes up to this main journal, and that drill is transferred to here and again back to a main journal. Those oil drills are used for providing the lubrication oil to both sides that comes along all of the journals and they lubricate the bearings, the connecting rod big end bearings. Guys, thank you for watching. So stay tuned and suggest me more videos. See you soon next time.